let us start from where we left off in the chapter number 2 water pollution today we are going to learn about eutrophication okay let us study about eutrophication so the word eutrophication is originated from greek word eu means well and trophs means food thus meaning is well fed or nutrient rich now eutrophication is one of the effect of water pollution thus we can define eutrophication as excessive nutrient load in water body or enrichment of water body by nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen the presence of nutrients is must for growth of organism but if these nutrients are present in excessive amount then they can act as pollutants because they allow excessive growth of aquatic plant like algae so nutrients should be there in water but if they are in excessive amount they can act as nutrient for algae and there will be excessive growth of algae in water and that is very harmful for the water eutrophication mainly happens in lake so there are three stages of eutrophication the depending on the presence of nutrients the water body's aquatic system may be classified as under first is oligotrophic stage water bodies with poor concentration of nutrients and very low productivity of aquatic plant so initially when the lake is newly formed it is in oligotrophic stage because the amount of nutrients are less second stage comes mesotrophic stage whenever pollutants are added in the water then the stage is transferred from oligotrophic stage to mesotrophic stage now mesotrophic stage is where there are moderate concentration of nutrients and average productivity of aquatic plants and the third stage is known as eutrophic stage where water bodies with high concentration of nutrients and very high productivity of aquatic plants so as pollutants are added in the water the stage of oligotrophic turns into mesotrophic stage and then from mesotrophic stage to eutrophic stage as the pollutants are added more and more into the water so depending on the amount of pollutant the stages are defined oligotrophic stage means less amount of pollutants which means less amount of nutrients and less productivity of plant mesotrophic stage is medium amount of pollutants so medium concentration of nutrients and medium productivity of plants and eutrophic stage is high amount of pollutants high productivity of plants and high amount of nutrients so when high amount of nutrients are added into the water that means excessive growth of algae happens in the water so that is eutrophic stage here you can see in the figure the whole lake is covered by algae so that is known as eutrophic stage of water pollution here you can see when nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which acts as a nutrient for algae are added in excessive amount in the water so that results into growth of algae as the algae increases it dies also very fast because the lifespan of algae is very less as it dies the decomposition is happening by through bacteria bacteria decomposes by utilizing dissolved oxygen the standard concentration of dissolved oxygen is 8 to 15 mg per liter as bacteria will be utilizing the standard concentration of oxygen the ratio will lower from 8 to 15 mg per liter to 5 to 8 mg per liter but if it lowers below 5 mg per liter then it is very very dangerous and it results into death of other aquatic plants and animals also and resulting into death of aquatic plants and animals and that will result into lowering of dissolved oxygen in the water and thereby resulting into destroying of the whole lake that is known as eutrophication process you can see here in the figure the whole process has been explained very nicely you can see fertilizers you can see growth of algae you can see how the algae is decomposed by bacteria how the concentration of dissolved oxygen is lowering how there is death of fishes and aquatic plants because of the lowering of dissolved oxygen that is known as eutrophication and the whole lake is destroyed due to eutrophication what causes eutrophication newly formed water bodies such as lake ponds and reservoirs whether naturally or man made has lower nutrient contents and low plant productivity gradually with the passage of time this water bodies become rich in nutrients through the deposit of domestic waste agricultural residue rich in nitrogen and phosphorus and industrial waste etc which ultimately increases aquatic growth 
in this way oligotrophic water bodies turns gradually into mesotrophic water body as i have told you earlier as the pollutant are added oligotrophic stage is transferred to mesotrophic stage natural eutrophication process is very slow often taking more than 100 years but artificial eutrophication happens very fast depending on the input of organic waste which enters the water body the aerobic decomposition of organic waste in the presence of oxygen by bacteria leads to eutrophication the nutrient rich water body supports the growth of algae and entire water becomes green as more plants grow due to the additional supply of nutrients more plants also die bacteria decomposes this dead plants and organic waste using dissolved oxygen as a result bod of water increases fish and other aquatic animals start dying due to the depletion of oxygen such a water body is said to be eutrophied with the increase in bod water starts emitting an offensive smell and aesthetic and recreational importance of water body decreases generally it is observed that concentration of nitrogen higher than 0.3 mg per liter and phosphorus more than 0.15 mg per liter causes eutrophication so whenever there is excess amount of nitrogen and phosphorus in the water that will lead to eutrophication process and resulting into death of the lake effects of eutrophication so what are the effects of eutrophication as nitrogen and phosphorus increases in the water body what will increase algae will increase algae blooms and restricts the penetration of sunlight in the water body hence the photosynthesis process is decreased obviously plants will not get proper amount of sunlight so the process is slower then decrease in dissolved oxygen and increase in biological oxygen demand as we know as the photosynthesis process is not happening properly the plants will die algae has a shorter life span it will also die and because of death of organisms in the water body bacteria will decompose those organisms by utilizing oxygen oxygen will be utilized from where from that water body and the dissolved oxygen concentration will reduce and that is the effect of eutrophication in water bodies now bad taste bad odor is produced also increases turbidity in water the decaying of organic matter causes depletion of do destroying fish and other aquatic species aesthetic and recreational importance of the water body decreases now how can we control eutrophication so eutrophication can be controlled the control at source is the best practice to prevent eutrophication therefore waste water enriched with nutrient should be treated for removal of nitrogen phosphorus and carbon before dispose recycling of nutrient should be adopted algae bloom should be removed from the water body reducing the use of phosphate in the detergent reducing the use of nitrate containing fertilizer so by reducing the use of phosphate nitrates algae bloom should be removed from the water body and by controlling source we can control eutrophication process now how water pollution can be controlled so water pollution can be checked or at least reduced by following measures by proper sewage treatment the sewage should be treated properly before disposing it into any water bodies sewage should be given following treatment before discharging into water bodies so if you want to control water pollution the sewage should be treated so how can we treat the sewage by doing certain kind of treatments so the first treatment is known as primary treatment so what is primary treatment to remove floating impurities dirt inorganic particles and seetable solids and etc so by removing the impurities which are seen by us so by removing floating impurities we can primarily treat water it mainly involves physical method for removal of impurities then secondary treatment mostly aim to remove organic impurities using many biological methods so by using biological methods we can treat the water and control water pollution tertiary treatment mostly using strong oxidizing agent to remove impurities example chlorine gas it is used to remove the impurities remaining after primary and secondary treatments so tertiary treatment should be done after using primary and secondary treatment primary treatment is removing floating impurities by using physical method secondary treatment is removing impurities from the water bodies using biological method and third is tertiary treatment where you can utilize different oxidizing agent to remove the impurities of the 
water. Water pollution can be controlled also by using industrial effluent should be properly treated before discharging into water bodies. By enforcing stringent standards for disposal of sewage and industrial waste into water bodies. By prohibiting direct washing of clothes and animals in the water bodies used for drinking supply. Pesticides and fertilizers should be judicially used to reduce chemical pollution due to surface runoff from farms. Less stable pesticides should be utilized. So water pollution can be controlled by treating the industrial effluents properly, by enforcing stringent standard for disposal of sewage and industrial waste into water bodies. So there should be a specific standard. Only that standard of water should be disposed in the water by prohibiting washing of clothes and animals nearby the water bodies, by utilizing pesticides and fertilizer in proper amount and reduce the utilization of that so that the excessive amount of nutrients are not added into the water bodies. So these are some methods to control water pollution. Now, increasing vegetation cover will also reduce water pollution. Encouraging reuse of water, you should utilize water again and again by different methods. To avoid thermal pollution, hot water should be cooled before releasing it into water bodies. So first you cool the water and then release it in nearby water bodies. Next is advanced treatment for removal of nitrates and phosphates should be adopted to prevent eutrophication. Thank you for watching this video.